All right, so today I'm painting the boat. Well, I'm painting the inside of it because uh, I've videotaped a little bit of painting the outside, but uh, I decided the footage didn't turn out too good, so I just deleted it. But uh, the whole outside of the boat is painted, and what I'm going to be doing today is painting the inside. Here's how it came out. It came out pretty nice. Um, there's a few spots on these uh, rails that I need to touch up, but besides that, I like the color. It came out real flat and nice how I like it but the inside I still have to paint I'm gonna basically just paint the the walls I'm not gonna paint the floor well maybe in this section because this is gonna be actual storage in here not you won't be sitting or putting your feet in there paint that uh, this part in here this is gonna be truck bed coating this I have the seat removed this is where the live well is gonna go um, I'm trying to decide what I want to do whether I want to get an actual tank that will sit in here or um, like seal this whole box up, like patch these holes that uh, allow drainage. And then you know put like a, a bilge pump in here and have it recirculate and then have a little outlet on the side like down here or up here that will, uh, you can check a valve and it will uh, pump it out to the outside instead of uh, suck water in. And then uh, coat this with truck bed coating. And I'll probably go ahead and coat this since this has the mechanical stuff like the gasoline and uh, the battery and that uh, my, that stuff might leak. I don't want it to tear up the paint. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to do the seats either because the, uh, this is going to be carpeted along with this all the way back. This is going to be carpeted up here and this is going to be a live well. So uh, I don't have to worry about painting those. Um, I'm probably just going to truck bed coat up the sides of the seats. But uh... Besides that, that's all I have planned right now. All right, here's what the first coat uh, looks like. It's just basically the base coat. It looks really patchy, but the second coat, it's gonna come back over and look similar to this. That's what the I had to do on the outside. It's two coats, and I like the way the outside looks, so I'm just gonna try and repeat that on the inside. I pulled it up out away from the barn out of that shade, and maybe it'll dry a little bit quicker so I could uh, probably in a couple hours put another coat on it and uh, get it done all right I just put the second coat on I repeated what I did I just pulled it out and uh, I'm letting it dry in the Sun but here's the second coat covered really good I think it still needs another coat uh, probably a third or a fourth coat because I didn't sand this down to bare aluminum like I did on the outside but um, so far it's coming good you can see it's Painted it in here. I'm probably just gonna go truck bed coating up the sides and uh, call that good. I need to get in here along the edges of the seats with a paintbrush and get close to those, but uh, I'm letting it dry first so I can actually climb up because I painted these rails too. And uh, an idea I want to ask is uh, what should I do? Should I leave these bare or should I get some sort of coating? I was originally thinking about like getting a uh, a piece of like inch and a half PVC and ripping it down the middle and then screwing it to this so it's like a hard surface that you can't really scratch and you can't notice but then it would be pretty hard to rip it down the middle I was also thinking about getting the same same size like a uh, rubber hose and just ripping one side of it so it would slip on and stay on but uh, I don't know uh, if anyone's done that before that'd be cool so let me know if you have. All right, it's been a couple days and I got the rest of the inside of like the walls painted. I want them done like this. Uh, and then I've got truck bed coating going in here. Uh, I still need to put another coat to get a bit rougher, but uh, it's definitely not regular paint. Um, I've got that and I haven't even touched back here yet, but I'm gonna wait until, until I, wanna, I wanna see what I wanna do back here. But I'm just going to use that same Rust-Oleum paint that I used on the trailer. I'm going to use that to paint this transom and then the backs of the seats. And then the tops of the seats, those are just going to be carpeted. So that's about it for the painting. I'm going to get that finished up and, uh, and then we'll have to start working on the motor.